Well, good morning, everybody. It's a, a beautiful Friday morning, and I'm sitting outside, and you can see I've got some company, and uh, just been spending some time doing my Bible reading and just enjoying the quiet morning and taking a moment to check in with you. Uh, just before I forget, while you're looking at one of the furry creatures, Berlin, the kitty that I asked you to pray for two weeks ago, uh, about uh, two days after uh, he was on the Sunday morning service and I asked you to pray, we had a phone call and his forever family came to visit and he was adopted at the beginning of this week and we've had photos from them and he's so happy and doing so well. So thank you for your prayers. It's lovely to be with you this morning and I have a whole hodgepodge of things just to share with you. Um, but maybe I'll start with a little bit of where, where I've been this week. It's been you know, one of those weeks where you kind of just feel a bit blah. Uh, everything, you know, I've had lots to do and, and everything's just been hard work. It's just been uh, and, and I, my energy and motivation have been lacking and, and I've just kind of been pushing to put one foot in front of the other and uh, yesterday I was looking for something to do with our Thursday morning uh, our Thursday evening Bible study and uh, with the Sona address uh, in mind and so much uh, uh, challenge that our country is facing and and so many things that were on my mind I, I turned to Psalm 4 and Psalm 4 is a beautiful psalm bringing uh, all the challenges that the psalmist is facing to the Lord in prayer and him expressing some of what he's going through and uh, as I was looking at the psalm I thought this is super and we decided to study it on, on Thursday night and I was looking for a picture to go with the psalm and so I googled Psalm 4 and came up with a, the cover of a Bible study booklet and the Bible study booklet was written by a lady named Candace Payne. And as I was reading through the description, I made a discovery. Candace Payne is a, a lovely Christian lady who became famous about three years ago when she uh, went to the shops and found a, a Chewbacca mask and that she bought and she bought it for herself. And while she was sitting in the car, she made a video of herself that she sent to her friends wearing this mask and as she puts the mask on she was just so enjoying the moment and she bursts out laughing and the video was so cute and so funny that some of her friends passed it on and it passed on and by the time Candace went to bed that night she'd had a million views and when she woke up the next morning she'd had 12 million views and was put in the Guinness Book of Records for the video that has gone viral the most quickly. And so uh, Candace found herself catapulted into uh, the public eye and it turns out that, that she has a beautiful message. She's a committed Christian and she has written two books, one of them all about defiant joy. And so I'm going to just share the, a little bit of her original video clip with you. Have a look at this and then uh, I'll turn to Psalm 4. But have a look at Candace Payne and bear in mind that her, her life-long ambition is to enjoy the simple things in life and to be filled with uh, defiant joy. Hey, I'm, I'm really excited to share with you something I got. Okay, um, this is part of my, my birthday joy, still uh, rejoicing in my birthday. And so here's what I got. I'm going to take it out of the box. And I can't wait to show you. Doing good. Doing good. Okay, so this is what I got. Once again, this is for me. Not for Duncan. Not for Cadence. I mean, I'll let them play with it. I'm not a bad mom. I'm not a jerk. But in all honesty, at the end of the day, it doesn't go in their toy box. It goes in my room. So here we go. I got to take off my glasses for it. <laughs> oh, naturally. Okay, here we go. So. Yes! Now watch when my mouth actually moves. <laughs> That's not me making that noise, it's the mask! Here, listen.
gosh, I'm in tears. I am in tears. Wow. Uh, <laughs> it was the best birthday present ever to myself. Wow. Oh my goodness. Y'all have an incredible day. It's the simple joys. <laughs> Wasn't that lovely? And as I said earlier, Candace's story is, is much deeper than just a video that went viral. Viral. She is somebody who has been through deep water. She wrestled with depression. She uh, uh, went through some very tough times. And yet in her faith and in, in, in her hope has found joy and meaning in life. And, is now, and she's now making a difference in the lives of others. But one of her key verses turns out to be the verse that I wanted to share with you this morning. And that is Psalm 4 verses 6 to 7. Many people will say, who will show us better times? And there are many people at the moment that are saying, you know, that are so despondent, so cynical, saying who's going to give us better times? Where, where's our hope going to come from? Who's going to rescue us? And who's going to help us in the midst of all of this? Many people will say, who will show us better times? Let your face smile on us, Lord. For you have given me greater joy than those who have abundant harvests of grain and wine. In peace I will lie down and sleep. For you alone, O Lord, will keep me safe. It's my prayer that you and I will look not to our leaders, not to our media, not to our own strength, but to God, to find better times, to find hope in the midst of struggle, to find peace in the midst of pain. And I pray that, that we will learn to find the peace that will help us to sleep safe at night, knowing that our times are in God's hands. Now, just before I go, a couple of practical things. The first is that this week coming up, well firstly, this Sunday is our first Sunday of, of live services again, so Valentine's Day, maybe the first way that you can start by coming to, uh, start Valentine's Day is by coming along to church. We can take 50 people in our morning service. Please come along at 8.30 and join us. There's a sign-up sheet. If you go to our website, www.emmanuel.org.za, there's a link that you can click to register for the service and just uh, come along, register for that service. If we go over 50, I will contact those who are past 50 and, and you'll have to come on another week. But don't, don't hold back just because you think the service might be filled up. Rather just sign up and let's see what happens. But it will be super to see at least some of us um, in the morning service. I will continue the recorded services. Those will carry on. And, uh, and so join us on Sunday. Also, this coming week is the start of Lent. And so on Tuesday, we have our Shrove Tuesdays uh, gathering. And that's going to be a picnic on the lawns. You'll have to bring your own picnic. We're not allowed to serve food. But if you bring your own picnic supper, if the weather permits, 6 o'clock on Tuesday evening, we'll gather on the lawns. And the idea is to celebrate God's goodness, to celebrate the fullness that He gives us and all the blessings that He gives us. It's a moment of gratitude. It's a moment of joy. Come along and join us. And then on Wednesday afternoon, Wednesday afternoon from about 3 o'clock, we'll be having an Ash Wednesday opportunity at the church. So on uh, from from three o'clock until six o'clock. I'll be at the church. There'll be a devotional Video about Ash Wednesday that will be looping and you'll be able to come sit quietly and Just uh, partake of that video and then there'll be an opportunity and we'll do it in a properly socially distanced way For you to come forward uh, for an Ash Wednesday uh, prayer and and anointing with ashes and, and just Take that moment of penitence and, and devotion and draw near to God for the Lent season. So please do take advantage of that opportunity. Join us on Wednesday afternoon. Then Wednesday at 7 p.m. 
we'll have an Ash Wednesday service. Again, the limitation of 50 will apply, and but there will be a service with songs and, and a short message, and again, an opportunity for prayer. And so if you would like to participate in that, there'll be a sign-up sheet, and you can come along to that. Then I want to say that our fellowship groups during the Lent period will be looking at an Ash Wednesday Bible study, and in the bulletin that will go out, out on Sunday, there will be all the details of the various fellowship groups. And remember that on our website, every Sunday, I put up a bulletin that has the birthdays and the anniversaries, and now we'll have all the details of the various fellowship groups. So please have a look at that, and you might want to join in with one of the fellowship groups by gathering on Zoom, on Jitsi, and some of them are even meeting face to face. But come along and be part of one of the fellowship groups for, for the Lent journey. Well, it's getting quite hot in the sun here, and Jedediah is getting impatient that I'm not paying him enough attention. So I'm going to close off. I do just want to swing all the way back to the devotion from the start to remind you that the one who can show us better times is God Himself. That the message of Candace Payne and the message of Psalm 4 is that God's face smiles and shines on us and that He can fill us with greater joy than those who have a full harvest. And it's my prayer that as we turn our eyes to Him, we will find that great joy. And so may the Lord bless you and keep you and make His face to shine on you. May He lift His countenance upon you and give you His peace. Amen.